Uh, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for bringing props. Uh, <laughs> let's just explain a little bit to the audience what matcha is first, if you will, please. Sure. So um, matcha is a premium ceremonial grade tea. Um, it's from Japan uh, and the ultimate superfood. And when you think of matcha, it's different than regular green tea because you're consuming the full leaf. So with normal tea, you're just consuming the nutrients that are steeped outside into the water. But with matcha, you're consuming the full leaf and oh, the, I see. the full so benefit. So it's tea, but you're actually, you drink it all. It's not in a bag yes. that it's a very you take the bag out. You actually tea. put it in the water. Yeah, it's a gr saturated. bright green powder. Yeah. So yeah. how much more caffeine, how much more buzz is there than, say, a cup of coffee? Right. So it has about half the amount of uh, caffeine as a, an espresso and about a third of the amount of caffeine as a cup of coffee. But it's digested differently in your system, so you get this three to six hour sustained boost, like a calm alertness, you can not, say not, not <laughs> a caffeine high, not, a, not a jitter and a crash. Don't we have video, Olivia, of you? Uh, Olivia spent I the weekend in Japan. <laughs> she was making matcha, and apparently there's like a zen aspect of actually doing it, right? You, you an M shape or, or a W. w. Shape. <laughs> yeah. I know my hair looks really good. Uh, <laughs> It was very cool, but listen, this is a bit of a laborious process. So how do you make this compete with, you know, the ease of walking in and out of a Starbucks. How can you make matcha go main scale? Yeah, so that's that's really where Panatea comes in. And we have this starter set that has all the necessary tools to make your everyday matcha moment. And we've created nuances in the set to make it really easy for the American consumer. Um, and you can use the set to make your everyday matcha, or you can throw it into your smoothie or mix it up with coconut water or make it into a latte. So it's right. really, really versatile. So is this something to do just at home and at restaurants then, or do you have plans to actually open up brick and mortar stores and kind of rival sidewalk, uh, rival, excuse me, Starbucks on the sidewalk? So I think, you know, with this current product, it's a direct consumer online business. That's really our sweet spot. Um, we're also in a bunch of cafes, restaurants, coffee shops around New York City that make up, make up about five to 10% of our uh, sales. Have you talked to anybody? I don't want to say Starbucks, but there are uh, coffee shops with national chains. Have you have you gotten in touch? Yeah, what's exciting now is that people are approaching us and saying, you know, we want to work with Panettiere Matcha. We love, you know, the community. We love your quality. We, lo we love, like, the brand and what you guys stand for. So, uh, yeah. Matcha, of course, has been around since, what, the 12th century, very popular in yeah. other parts of the world. Now it's catching uh, fire, fire in the U.S., yeah. you could say, and in part because you guys are using fashion models as uh, New York. Yeah. What's the strategy yeah. there? Well, yeah, we've done a lot of activations in New York Fashion Week, and, and really what we found is that these early adopters are on the, on the cutting edge of the trend, of healthy trends in general. And so whether that's athletes, models, chefs, entrepreneurs, um, they really started to incorporate Panettiere into their lifestyle, and now what we're seeing is the broader market and community um, incorporate it, everywhere from professionals needing an early morning pick-me-up to, you know, moms and people I, living healthy I wonder if you uh, have gotten this into I mean for Olivia it's great to have a Zen moment and she can like wear her robe and put on some Enya and do that whole thing <laughs> but I just want to run out of the house as fast as I can after I jumped out of bed so can I get it like in a K cup or like an instant well, form do you, I mean, do you make smoothies in, in the morning uh, no, Matt definitely I'd, doesn't. I'd, well, I would. I would make you smoothies, would, you, so, so I could you throw just, it in. Yeah, just throw it in. A milkshake, for example, I would make a milkshake. Exactly. Yeah. Or, I mean, I make it every morning before going to work in, in less than two minutes. It, just whisk it up. It's just really quick. M and W, whisk, whisk. Yeah, you just have to make an M or a W, right? Yeah, and then That's it gets like, this nice yeah. frothy Got consistency. Yeah. It's all in the wrist, it's all Olivia. The wrist. It's all about the wrist. She's got her gentle. All right. Jessica Lloyd, <laughs> and Ron, thank you so much, the founders of Panatea. Thanks thank for you. having us. Thank you. I, that does it for Mark and me. That wraps it all up. Great news because Eric and Steph will actually be back. I have to tell you, this matcha Kit Kat was actually pretty good. Good. It tasted just like chocolate, to be honest. But it's uh, green. It, but it's green. And so, you have a sustained high. Will it get and well, healthier? I, guess, I mean, there's already caffeine and chocolate. Will I get another? Do you know about the makers of the matcha Kit Kat? Nestle, yes. probably. They probably I don't scamp know. on I can't their matcha. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's for kids, and it probably doesn't have a lot of it. <laughs>